Hey guys, in this uh, angle series, uh, we're taking a look at supplementary angles. And uh, I'm going to show you an example of supplementary angles. So here we have a straight line. And uh, we know a straight line is worth 180 degrees. Okay? So what I want to take a look at today is what if we take this straight line and... And we have another line intersect it. Say so here's the center, and it intersects as such. It creates two angles. Here's angle one, and here's angle two. So say angle two measures 40 degrees. Okay. Supplementary angle means two angles. That's an S. whose sum is 180 degrees. So I know if the whole thing's 180 and angle 2 measures 40, to find angle 1, I take 180 degrees, subtract 40, and I get 140 degrees. Okay, and on the next page I have a few examples, so please write the definition down and pause if you need to, and we'll go to the next page. Okay, we have four examples here. Uh, the direction state. Find the missing angle in each of the supplementary angles. Okay, when you see that, that means we have the angles that add to 180 degrees. So in number one, I know we have this angle, TRS, that measures 27 degrees. So to find QRT, I'm going to take 180 and minus 27. So 10 minus 7 is 3, 7 minus 2 is 5, so this missing angle is 153 degrees. Okay, um, angle LMO is supplementary to NMO, so I'm going to take 180 degrees minus 101, 10 minus 1 is 9, 7 minus 0 is 7, so this missing angle in here is 79 degrees. Okay, example number 3, I know that angle GHK and KHJ will add up to 180 degrees because they are supplementary. So I'm going to take 180 and minus 142. 10 minus 2 is 8, 7 minus 4 is 3. So our missing angle is 38 degrees. In the last example, um, I know the two angles need to add to 180. Subtract 83. So 10 minus 3 is 7. 17 minus 8 is 9. So this is 97 degrees. Okay, please make sure you have these diagrams with you and bring this to class with you. Thank you.